ants bury their dead, right? Oh yeah. How do, how do you think an ant knows when another ant is dead? Okay, let me right? tell you. Let's, let me, let's see whether anyone all gets right, it. Fine, let's Can anyone guess? It. You don't you have it. it. Well, I'm going to give it to you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they said um, smell, right? Is that yeah, right? well, uh, we know when someone else is dead, particularly after a couple of days. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, They're not very responsive even within the first right. few minutes. I think. Well, you know, back in the days when I was about, actually a good part of 50 years ago, I was doing a lot of the basic work on ant communication, how they smell and taste their way through life. Uh, and I asked the question that you just asked. I said, how do they know an ant is dead? Well, I noticed that occasionally an ant would die in the colony and its body would be ignored. So the ant could just go over, you know, on its back and be lying like this, motionless. And the ants wouldn't pay any attention. But after a day or two, uh, they uh, began to pick it up and take it out to the ant cemetery. Well, the ant cemetery is really just a pile of, it's like the garbage dump. Uh, it's just a kind and gentle name to use for the <laughs> garbage dump. And they, there are no little caskets. There's and no then, little, no, there's no, no, little no, 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 right. no requiem for poor dead ant. Uh -huh. Uh, she was so faithful. <laughs> she was so brave, you know. She believed in her queen. <laughs> they, well, they can't tell one sister from another, so how could they carry that on? Sure. Anyway, they take her out and just drop her. I said, how do they know she's dead? Mm. And then I started figuring, well, maybe there's something in the dead ant that's signaling the others that she's dead. So I, what I did, I found out, work done by other scientists, I found out what substances, you know, uh, the, what chemicals is in a dead insect. Don't ask me, please, why some chemist worked all that out, what are all the chemicals are in a dead insect, but that helped me a lot. So what I did, <clears throat> I got all those various chemicals in pure form from, from uh, chemical suppliers, and I started trying out one after the other. You know, one was trimethylamine, that's the smell of a decaying fish. Mm -hmm. And the next was, um, you know, a component of solid waste matter, the kind that, you know, repels us considerably. I know what you're talking and, about, yeah, don't well, worry, we, I can read between the lines. Yeah, don't worry, I know it. Anyway, you get the message. And so on down the line. And uh, my laboratory it's, what a, <laughs> a, a smell of that imagine, laboratory. Can imagine you know? your friends coming by. I'm, What's Ed doing today? Oh, uh, man, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad they didn't, you know, tell me to clean up or get out. Yeah. But anyway, let me get to the, uh, to the end of the story. I tried one after the other. The cats paid no attention or else they got all alarmed and ran away from it, right? And finally, I came to something that's in corpses. Uh, nobody had ever thought about it. It's called oleic acid. Mm -hmm. And that's the sort of stuff you get when you let butter decay and that sort of thing. And I put a little dab of oleic acid on a make-believe dead ant, and they immediately picked it up and treated it as a corpse. Voila. So, I so proved, the ant was I proved, alive, and you essentially convinced the other ants that it was dead. Oh, I'm coming. And they carried it I'm, away I'm, and yeah, took well, it to I'm the cemetery. Yeah, well, I'm coming to that. Let's I look was, at that happening. This yeah, is okay. An, what I was saying, uh, right, was what I did was uh, now <laughs> try it with a, um, I just put a little daub on a healthy, strong ant, and they came up to it, and they tried to protest, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> wiggling its <laughs> like, arms I'm and, alive, you know, get away, get away. <laughs> And they picked it up. <laughs> they just picked it up uh, dutifully, and they, went, they put the struggling ant and threw it onto the pile. And so it would have to stand there for a while, <laughs> cleaning the oleic acid off, and then see if it could get back into the colony. <laughs> You're horribly, horribly cruel. That's a terrible yeah. thing to do.